supercharging or turbocharging? Which gives your car the ultimate power boost? That's the question that has divided car enthusiasts for years. Welcome to the world of engine boosting and welcome back to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share our videos and feel free to leave any comments. On this video, we'll explore the thrilling debate between supercharging and turbocharging. Now, if you're new to the scene, you might be wondering what these terms even mean. Supercharging, in the simplest terms, is a way of forcing more air into the engine to increase power. Turbocharging, on the other hand, is a similar concept, but it uses exhaust gases to spin a turbine and compress the incoming air. Both techniques are all about boosting your engine's power and performance. But which one takes the crown? Which one will give your car that much desired power boost? Well, the answer isn't so straightforward. So fasten your seatbelts, it's time to rev up those engines and delve into the heart of this high-octane debate. Let's dive into this high-octane debate and see if we can settle the score. Let's start with supercharging. It's a method that has been around for a long time and has powered some of the fastest cars in the world. Supercharging is all about forcing more air into the engine's combustion chamber, allowing for more fuel to be burned, and consequently, generating more power. Take, for instance, the Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. This beast of a car uses a supercharged 6.2-liter V8 engine that spews out a mind-boggling 707 horsepower. The result? 0 to 60 in just 3.6 seconds. That's the kind of breathtaking acceleration that can make your heart skip a beat. Then we have the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, another shining example of supercharging prowess. It's equipped with a supercharged 6.2-liter V8 engine, similar to the Hellcat, but it churns out 650 horsepower. But don't let the lower horsepower fool you. The ZL1 is a track-ready monster that can hold its own against much more expensive sports cars. The benefits of supercharging are plenty. The power boost is immediate, there's no lag, and it's consistent throughout the rev range. Supercharged engines also tend to be more reliable because they don't run as hot as turbocharged engines. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Supercharging does have its drawbacks. It can be quite fuel inefficient because of the extra fuel required to generate the additional power. And due to the mechanical nature of the supercharger, it draws power directly from the engine, which can reduce its overall efficiency. Yet despite these drawbacks, there's no denying the allure of a supercharged engine. The raw, instant power. The intoxicating whine of the supercharger. It's a symphony for the senses that can turn any drive into an exhilarating experience. Clearly, supercharging can give a car a serious power boost. But what about turbocharging? Now let's turn our attention to turbocharging, a technology that has become increasingly popular in recent years. Turbocharging is a method of forced induction that allows an engine to squeeze more air into its cylinders. This, in turn, allows the engine to burn more fuel per second, creating a significant boost in power. Turbochargers use the exhaust gas from the engine to spin a turbine, which then drives an air compressor, supplying the engine with more air. Take, for instance, the BMW M5. This high-performance luxury sedan is powered by a turbocharged V8 engine that delivers a whopping 600 horsepower. The turbocharger not only enhances the car's performance, but also improves its fuel efficiency. The M5 is a testament to how turbocharging can transform a car into a high-performance machine without compromising on comfort or luxury. Now let's consider the Porsche 911 Turbo, another iconic car that uses turbocharging to its advantage. The 911 Turbo's six-cylinder engine employs two turbochargers, propelling the car from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just over two and a half seconds. That's faster than a cheetah. Turbocharging not only increases the 911 Turbo's speed, but also enhances its agility, making it a favorite among sports car enthusiasts. Beyond performance, turbocharging also offers other benefits. It's generally more fuel-efficient than naturally aspirated engines, making it a more environmentally friendly option. It's also more compact than superchargers, meaning it takes up less space under the hood, which can be a significant advantage in smaller vehicles. But it's not all roses with turbocharging. Turbo lag, the delay between the driver putting their foot down and the turbo providing the additional power, can be an issue. However, car manufacturers have been working tirelessly to reduce this lag, and in many modern turbocharged cars it's barely noticeable. So turbocharging also packs a powerful punch, but which is better? We'll dive into that in the next scene. Stay tuned. Now that we've looked at both supercharging and turbocharging, it's time to compare them head to head. 
when we talk about performance, both superchargers and turbochargers significantly increase horsepower. However, the way they deliver this power is different. Superchargers are known for providing instant throttle response and a dramatic increase in low-end torque. On the flip side, turbochargers with their lag time deliver a sudden burst of power at a higher RPM, giving you that kick when you're already moving. Fuel efficiency is another critical factor. In general, a turbocharger is more fuel efficient than a supercharger. This is because a turbocharger uses the exhaust gases which would otherwise be wasted to spin the turbine and compress the intake air. A supercharger, meanwhile, takes power directly from the engine to run, which can put more strain on the engine and use more fuel. Now let's talk about reliability. Both systems add complexity to the engine, which can potentially introduce more points of failure. However, turbochargers tend to be more complex with more parts, making them potentially more prone to issues. On the other hand, superchargers, being mechanically driven and having fewer parts, generally have a reputation for being more reliable. But it's not all about power, fuel efficiency, and reliability. The driving characteristics and the feel of the car can be significantly different with a supercharger or a turbocharger. Some drivers prefer the linear, consistent power delivery of a supercharger, while others enjoy the sudden surge of a turbocharger coming on boost. In summary, if you're looking for immediate power and reliability, a supercharger might be your best bet. However, if fuel efficiency and a high top-end power are more your speed, then a turbocharger could be the way to go. As with most things in life, the best choice depends on your specific needs and preferences. But what about the future? What trends are we seeing in car engine boosting technologies? As we navigate the open road of innovation, we're witnessing an automotive evolution. Emerging technologies are shifting the landscape of power boosting, with electric turbocharging and hybrid boosting systems at the forefront. Electric turbocharging, for instance, is a game changer. This technology combines the best of both worlds, the instant response of a supercharger with the efficiency of a turbocharger. The secret lies in an electrically driven compressor that eliminates the traditional turbo lag, delivering instant power on demand. Meanwhile, hybrid boosting systems are also accelerating into view. These systems use an electric motor to assist the turbocharger, reducing lag and improving efficiency. They can offer the performance benefits of a larger engine while maintaining the fuel efficiency of a smaller one. This technology is particularly relevant as we steer towards a future of hybrid and electric cars. These innovations are not just transforming the way we boost engine power, they're also reshaping the supercharging versus turbocharging debate. With electric turbocharging, we might see a shift in preference towards turbochargers due to their improved responsiveness. Meanwhile, hybrid boosting systems could blur the lines between the two technologies, offering a kind of best-of-both-worlds solution. But it's not just about performance and efficiency. The environmental impact of our vehicles is a growing concern, and these new technologies could play a crucial role in reducing emissions. Electric turbochargers and hybrid boosting systems both promise improved fuel efficiency, which could lead to lower emissions and a smaller carbon footprint. As technology continues to evolve, the debate between supercharging and turbocharging is sure to evolve as well. The road ahead is exciting and we can't wait to see where these emerging technologies take us. So, supercharging or turbocharging? Which gives your car the ultimate power boost? We've explored the ins and outs of these two popular engine boosting technologies, each with its own unique strengths and weaknesses. Supercharging, with its direct connection to the engine, provides immediate power eliminating lag and delivering performance at low RPMs. It's all about instant gratification, the sheer exhilaration of power at your fingertips the moment you hit the gas. On the other hand, turbocharging, with its clever utilization of exhaust gases, offers improved fuel efficiency and greater power at high RPMs. It's the waiting game, the thrilling crescendo of power that builds up and leaves you breathless. However, both technologies have their drawbacks. Supercharging can be a fuel guzzler, while turbocharging might leave you yearning for power in the low RPM range. But, as with most things in life, it's all about balance and personal preferences. Some drivers might prefer the immediacy of a supercharger, while others may be drawn to the high-end power and efficiency of a turbocharger. Looking ahead to the future, we see a world where these technologies continue to evolve, becoming more efficient, more powerful, and more integrated with the vehicle's overall design. Perhaps we'll even see hybrids of the two,
combining the best of both worlds for an unparalleled driving experience. But let's not forget the world of cars is not just about performance figures and fuel economy, it's about the thrill of driving, the connection between man and machine, the joy of the open road. It's about finding what suits you best and enjoying every moment behind the wheel. In the end, whether you choose a supercharged or a turbocharged car, the most important thing is that you enjoy the ride.